Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. After getting this big rejection yesterday, you can see that the Bitcoin price is now bouncing from this important level of support in the short term, while at the same time continuing to just trade in this consolidation pattern for the Bitcoin price that we have been in ever since the top at 73K. And so long as we continue to hold above this level of support, which is currently sitting roughly at 58.6K, and we should at some point see a continuation of the bull run if we even do go that low, with another key indicator to watch being this bull market support band that continues to trend up as time moves on. And at some point we will see the bull market support band trend into this descending channel. And that would be a critical moment for the Bitcoin price to actually bounce to the upside. Because if we do break below that bull market support band, then likely we will see much lower price action for Bitcoin. Now moving on to this massive symmetrical triangle pattern, which I talked about in yesterday's video and has now confirmed a breakout to the downside, which also confirms this price target right here of about 52,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. However, since this is such a massive pattern that has been forming for a couple of weeks, personally, I'm looking for more confirmation that we are actually going to see that move to the downside. And personally, I will not be trying to short this move to the downside either for reasons that I will get to in a second here, because I think it is still definitely possible that we just get a bounce trade back inside the range and do trade to the upside at some point. However, for now, what you must know is that this price target of 52K is currently active. And as always, I'm not here to waste your time. So let's just get into those reasons why I think a bounce is still possible. First of all, we do have this Bitcoin descending line of support that the price can still bounce off of. And besides that, Bitcoin is currently in a massive level of support, which is sitting all the way from 62.4K down to 60,000 US dollars. Though in the case that you do see the Bitcoin price break below this line of support and also break below this descending trend line right here, well, in that case, the next big level of support below that is from 58,000 US dollars all the way down to 56.5K. And in my opinion, since we have seen bounces even after major corrections in these levels right here, therefore I am a bit skeptical of this price target and this pattern in general right here. And the reason I'm not fully ruling this out either is because previously, especially if you have been a longtime viewer of my channel, even though I started a couple of weeks ago, but I found another massive pattern like this, also a symmetrical triangle that I called out at 67,000 US dollars with a price target of 58K. And in the end, we actually got that price target so the pattern was fully completed. But at the time, that was very hard to believe. And now we're seeing something very similar where, I mean, at this point, it just doesn't look very realistic that we're going to 52,000 US dollars. However, I don't want to rule it out because this is simply what the chart is telling me. Though, of course, if you do see the price trade back inside the range, then it does invalidate the pattern in the short term. And in the case that you do see that breakout to the upside, then the confirmed price target would roughly be 73,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. Now, before I continue with the Bitcoin analysis, if you want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, do make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the three day time frame. You can see that yesterday we took out a lot of liquidity to the downside at about 60.5k and if you're not familiar with the liquidation heat maps or liquidity in general don't worry all you really need to know is that typically the bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart so where you see the most yellow areas on this chart so zooming out to the one week time frame you can see that there is still a lot of liquidity to the downside here being at 60.1k However, there is still a lot of liquidity all the way down to roughly speaking 59,000 US dollars. So this is definitely an area where potentially we could see a bounce in the Bitcoin price if we do get that move to the downside. However, just like I said yesterday, we are getting a lot of liquidity starting to build up to the upside, now even seeing it on the one week time frame. So this is something very significant to also take note of. And zooming out to the one month time frame, it becomes even more clear that most of the liquidity is in fact to the upside. First of all, at 65.7K, even more liquidity at 67.3K, and then all the way up to 71.8K, there's also another massive level of liquidity. So in my opinion, since we are in a bull run, 
as I have been repeating over and over again, I do think at some point we are going to take out these big levels of liquidity, although potentially we first have to sweep some more liquidity to the downside first. Either way, if you want to know a plan of what I'm doing with my crypto right now, I took some profits when Bitcoin was at 69,000 US dollars. And I also consolidated part of my positions like Ethereum into Bitcoin, because right now in the market with Bitcoin consolidating, you can see that altcoins are bleeding very heavily. And potentially there's still some more downside for the Bitcoin price. So therefore, I just wanted to manage my own risk a little bit. And another thing that you must take into account is that I'm not giving you this as financial advice. Just for me personally, it was a situation where I just wanted to take some profits because I was in some pretty significant profits. So I just wanted to take that off. And of course, I still have cash on my exchange to buy dips for altcoins. And I'm still obviously heavily exposed to the crypto market, but it is simply mostly in Bitcoin and ETH and a little bit in altcoins as well. Now, moving on to the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today. You can see that yesterday on Friday, we closed it off with a bang, getting a net outflow of $85 million just on Friday. And Grayscale starting to sell a lot of Bitcoin again, selling about $103 million worth of Bitcoin with the other ETFs doing very little about it, buying very small amounts of Bitcoin. So therefore we have this net outflow. And if you are unhappy with Grayscale because they, they are putting a lot of selling pressure on the Bitcoin price and the crypto market, then all I can say to that is simply that Grayscale doesn't have an infinite amount of Bitcoin. At some point, they are going to run out of Bitcoin and the selling pressure from Grayscale will stop. But of course, that can still take some time, potentially a couple of months. So that's something to definitely take note of. Moving on to Ethereum on the daily time frame. Recently, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level at 4,000 US dollars, after which we got a pretty significant move to the downside, all the way to about 2850 for the Ethereum price which corresponds to the 0.5 Fibonacci level. And right now we are seeing that Ethereum is testing that 0.5 Fibonacci level once again, which is important to watch because if we do see the price break below that level, then we will be targeting much lower prices for Ethereum. However, in the short term, there are also short term support and resistance levels that we need to take into consideration. So let's take a look at those right now. First of all, recently Ethereum got rejected from this level of resistance, which is sitting from 3150 up to 3250. And then of course, above that, you do have that 0.618 Fibonacci level at 3330. However, after Ethereum got rejected, we actually got a quick move to the downside into this massive level of support from $3,000 all the way down to 2850 with again, this 0.5 Fibonacci level being present here again, sitting at about 2865. However, zooming out a little bit, the key support level to watch below this in the case that we do get those confirmed candle closes below that 2850 level. So you see the price break below, potentially retest and then trade to the downside, flipping this into a level of resistance. Well, in that case, the next level of support below that is from about 2720 all the way down to 2600 for the price of Ethereum. Though at the same time on the four hour time frame, you can see that Ethereum is now actually in this falling wedge pattern, which is more likely to break out to the upside. However, I don't really want to set any price targets for this because I think it is highly dependent on what Bitcoin is actually doing in the short term. So for now, what I'll say about this pattern is that if you do want to see a reversal in the price of Ethereum, at the very least, what you want to see is a breakout above this descending line of resistance right here. And that could potentially be a signal for you that the price is ready to reverse to the upside and trade higher again. But this is, of course, not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now, taking a look at Solana on the weekly time frame, again, getting rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level recently, a couple of weeks ago, after which there has been pretty much nothing but downside for Solana. We did find some support at the 0.5 Fibonacci level and are now potentially trading to the upside again. So let's zoom in a little bit and take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Solana. So we have a better understanding of what we can expect in the short term. The first thing I wanted to note here for Solana on the one hour time frame is this bullish divergence right here, which is whenever you have lower lows in the Solana price, but higher lows in the RSI momentum indicator. And typically what you'll see in the price action is either some choppy sideways price action. So a break from all of that bearish momentum 
or potentially even some bullish price action in the short term, which I think would be a welcome sight for many Solana holders. And usually what you can expect is for the RSI to reset back to around this 50 level right here, or even a little bit above it, before then deciding what the next move is going to be. So either to the upside or to the downside, but usually you would first have to see the RSI reset back to around that 50 level. Now taking a look at the short term support and resistance levels on the four hour time frame, you can see that Solana is still in this critical level of support, which is also a massive level though, from about $150 all the way down to $140. And in the case that you do see the price trade higher from here, well, potentially we might get some short term resistance at about this $155 level or even this $160 level, like I have been talking about for, well, I think a couple of weeks at this point. However, if you do see the price break through those levels of resistance, then the next big levels of resistance are above that from about 166 all the way up to $171 for the price of Solana. Now, if you want to learn more about crypto or just join an awesome group, then I highly recommend you join my free crypto community with the first link in the description of today's video. Either way, thank you for watching today's market update video once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.